Hey everybody, it's Giandra from Best Women's Boxing Show, period. We're out here today at the Benavides Plant Press Conference in Los Angeles. Stay tuned, keep watching. We got some highlights, we got fiery, we got some shoving. We got all the good stuff that we're expecting to come with this fight. So make sure you keep watching and stay tuned and check out these highlights. He's known as Sweet Hands. Caleb Sweet Hands Plant. We got a big fight on our hands, but that's good. That's what boxing needs is big fights. And um, I want to be someone to, to help deliver that to the boxing world. I'm sure he does too. Um, you know, coming off of an 11-month layoff, after the Canelo fight, I could have chose somebody to uh, get in the ring with that no one knew, some nobody, just some sparring session of a match. Um, but, you know, I told my team I want to make the biggest fight possible. And I may not be the biggest fight out there, but give me the biggest fight possible. They came back to me with two-time former world champ, Anthony Durrell. And um, he was ranked high enough in the WBC to make that a 12-round uh, WBC title eliminator. And you being the interim champ and not being a title eliminator means I fight him. That means we get it on next, right? You were pressured. You didn't want to fight. That's why you got all those fucking demands. Huh? You got fucking pressure. But you didn't want to fight. What did you have for? Uh, 22 uh, foot boxing ring? Rival gloves? No, Blue corner? You want to come as a champion? Who are champions? David, the Mexican monster is a champion. You want to come out as a champion. March 25th, you ain't got to worry about me pulling out. Show up, show you, up, show up. I'm going to show up. Take care of those fast hands. Yeah. Okay, show up. Because remember, this ain't my first big fight. I want to see you. This ain't my first one. I've, I've been here before. Show up. And show I've done up. it. Show up. And when I show up, I show up on weight. And I don't test positive for cocaine either. So don't, don't worry about me not knocking the fuck out already. But Canelo pushed you to sleep. That's what that moment do to you too. Hey. Look, at, the, you're fucking, at the highest level, at great the highest fighters, level, you still fighters. hit like a bitch. You got 13 fucking knockouts. So right? fucking fight. You hit like a little bitch. Ask him to the What have you done to the You're scared. You're scared. There's a scared. lot of tough guy, rah rah stuff. You know, yeah, this fucking guy. He fucking looks like he's about to cry. Look at his fucking eyes. I see. Him. I know a pussy when I see him. Yeah. Even his dad, you know, senior. He he calls all types of fighters bitches and pussies. And, I respect you know, everybody. You're a bitch. You, you I respect may, everybody. You may um, you know, you may hear a banner between fighters. You may even hear a fighter say something like, "I've never lost to a white boy, and I'm not about to start now." Who the fuck said Wait. that? When did I? Did I? Anthony Durrell. Am I Anthony Durrell? I'm not talking about you. Am I Anthony Durrell? So don't fucking don't bring that up. Like if I'm the one saying that shit too. I didn't say you said that. Finish with the fuck you guys. Let me let me get a little more. What? What you wanna do? Man, we could have got outside the fucking hotel. You're fucking pussy. You got all these fucking people with you. He's so mad. He's so mad. You're not going to do nothing. So, anyways, you know, you, you hear Jose Cena, you know, he calls fighters bitches and pussies, and you may hear that between fighters, but you don't normally hear boxing coaches talking like that. And the reason you don't really hear that is because a lot of boxing. Trainers, you should you know, hurry up. They've, been, they've been in the ring. You don't gotta go run, brother. They've been in the ring. They've fought before. Go exercise, so you but run. you've never fought. You close the fucking track. You've never made that walk. You never had to lace up a pair of gloves and feed your family. Bitch. You don't know what it's You're like. A bitch. So it's yeah. easy for you to toss those You're words around because you've never had to do it. You're a bitch. You never had to do it. Hey, look at you. You want to cry? Yeah, I want to cry. So, anyways, March 25th, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in shape. I'm going to be on weight. I ain't going to be on cocaine. And I'm going to whoop his ass. Show up. Thank you, Caleb. It's true about fucking bro your glasses when we slap in the face. Can you get on right here? Can you get on right here? Why are you whispering? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you whispering? Talk to me like a fucking man. Listen. All right, now. Coming to the podium. It's fine. They're fine. Coming to the podium. Unbeat. He's 26 and 0. 23 knockouts. He is the former two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world. He has been nicknamed the Mexican monster. He is David Benavides. First of all, I want to thank God because without him, none of this is possible. Secondly, I want to thank Al Heyman, Samson Lukowicz, Lisa Klubas, my father Jose Benavides, and David Garcia. 
This has been a fight in the making for the past five years, and it couldn't, couldn't have come at a better time. I'm at my best right now, mentally and physically. There's been a lot of shit talking going back and forth, but on March 25th, I get to put hands on Caleb Plant. And trust me, when I say, I'm gonna beat the fucking living shit out of you, pussy. I'm gonna beat the living shit out of you. Yo, yeah, and then when you're in the fucking ground, bleeding from your fucking mouth, you realize how to respect a real fucking person. That's real. What? 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 I'm scared because I'm fucking... David, leave him alone, he's about man, to cry. This dude, man, he has 13 knockouts. He thinks just because he knocked fucking Anthony Durrell out, that's supposed to be something to me. I beat the shit out of Anthony Durrell when I was 23 years old. I was champion before you, I got three fucking belts right now. Man, you, you, I'm what you want to fucking be. You a old fuck, you a fucking chump. You ain't nothing. And watch, March 25th, mark my words, I'm going to put this motherfucker in the hospital. It is one of the most significant fights of the year. It goes down on Showtime pay-per-view March 25th, Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. That is 6 o'clock Pacific time from the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Get your tickets now for David Benavidez, Caleb Plant, two former world champions going at it at 168 pounds. Guys, if you would, you can just have a stand, stand right there. You can stand right there. You can just stand, face there. Face those cameras. That's it. Just face the cameras. <laughs> so we can get a good picture here. That's it. That's what people want to see. David Benavidez, Caleb Plant. The two top guys at 168 pounds on Showtime pay per view. March 25th from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas.